everyone welcome to quick code academy today in this video i will tell you how we can customize the angular material uh, form field so i am expecting that you have already installed angular material in your uh, project so here i will show you how to add the angular uh, material form field so if you go to this angular material ui component library in component section you would find the form field so i am assuming that you have already uh, done, done this step so so first uh, let me uh, copy paste any code snippet from here so i will copy this one mat form field and i will paste it in my html file and as you know it will give some error so we need to import it so let's go to ts file and we are going to copy this to mat input module and mat form field module and in angular 17 you know the default component is uh, standalone so we have to directly add it in our component.ts file so i am going to add this in my import section whatever i have imported so this mat form fill module i have done then i will add mat input module and also uh, we will remove this hint and mat label and mat icon as of now So let's just see on browser so if you just go back to browser and here we can see we have successfully added the angular material form field now we will see how we can customize this we have successfully added the mat form field in our project now we will see how we can customize the mat form field in our application so for uh, doing that so let me just uh, zoom in my screen so that you would be able to see the a mat form field clearly okay so now if you see when i am uh, not doing anything so at that time it is slight gray and when i am focusing it it is becoming purple okay so let's just see how we can change this behavior and we can use our own colors in this case and what i have seen is so basically whenever we have to create any mat form field so it should uh, look like uh, one of the component from our project and we follow some color scheme right so your project also may have few color scheme so here i will show you like how we can customize it so first you need to uh, right click from your mouse and you need to open inspect element okay and here this element section will be open so now you have to click on this and click on your mat form field so okay so here uh, you would see a lot of elements you would be able to see and here the steps which we need to follow is we need to identify exactly which class we need to uh, do the modification okay so i am opening this i am opening this i am opening this then here i see something known as mat notch notched outline okay if i further open this so here i am seeing leading then notch then trailing okay so if i click on leading so here i can see one border border curl color okay so if i am making it red so it is getting a change the default state is getting changed okay so i am sure now that i have to uh, i have to change in this class okay so i will copy this class for my reference okay so all three classes we have to change the color okay so this also i will copy and next is the last one also we will copy this is mdc notched outline trailing okay now we need to take some parent class so over here so we can uh, take this because it is under a mat text field right so we will uh, pick up this mdc text field outline so if you see when i'm hovering over it like it's getting highlighted so i will copy this mdc okay so now we have this three classes okay so what we will do we will just uh, implement it uh, for first so i will mention this md text field outline followed by this okay we will first just implement it for the leading okay so here 
curly braces then I will mention border color and here just for the identification uh, I will give red as of now okay so now once you add it like this okay so if you add this statement in your uh, style.scss file let me go to style.scss file and here let me add important as well so you would see it's working right red but if you add it in your component file it will stop working okay if you add it in your component file it will stop working why because whenever you add uh, styling then it gets added to your entire application because the style.scss is the uh, common SSS file for all of your project okay but if you are inside any of the component so at that time it won't work so it's based on your use case if you want to apply it across your application then you can place it in the style.scss file but if you don't want that then you can add it in the component as well okay so now if you have to add it in your component so you you will have to add two things okay one is ng dip ng dip and it will start working but we should not just add ng dip we should place it along with host so that the other components won't get uh, this uh, style won't get applied to them okay so now you can see it's getting applied okay so now uh, what I will do I have just listed down few colors for my reference so I will replace it with this now you can see it has become uh, slightly greener okay and now I will copy paste it okay three times three times I am copy pasting and then this would be notch notch we have to add dot as well and then I will copy MDC notch trailing and I will place it over here okay now you would see the entire thing would be in the green color okay so now let's say so if you still uh, see whenever I am uh, putting cursor or cursor on it and it's in focus state you can still see some purple color tint which is getting added into your green color tint so how to change this behavior when you are in the focus state so that also we'll check so we will click on inspect we will check this class and here we will just see what is happening when I'm cl clicking on it so if you just notice it's getting changed okay these classes are getting changed so earlier it is md3 text field uh, slash uh, hyphen hyphen outline but there is no focus state but when I am uh, clicking on this input field so at that time it is going in the focus state so if I try to copy it won't allow me to uh, copy so what I will do I will just check what is getting added so if you see mdc text field after that hyphen hyphen focused is getting added so what I will do I will just copy this class and I will just paste it over here okay and I will copy this and then I will copy this and I will add focused okay here I will just again for my reference I will give some random color I will give red so now you can see when I'm focusing it's become red that means it's working so now I am good to copy my own color I will copy this color and same process I will do I will copy this three times one two three we have three and I will replace so first second one is notch notch third one is trailing so I will just copy paste copy and then paste 
so now see what is the behavior when I am okay so now you can see the mat form field is getting changed so I have just shown you the way how we can uh, tweak and customize few properties of mat form field so in this way you can go uh, go to your uh, project check the inspect element and from that you will uh, you can uh, figure out like how we can change few styling of our mat form field so thank you for watching this video i hope you like it make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you all